incident happened in your life which you may not realize but it has affected you unknowingly or knowingly so deeply that now every judgment of yours every decision of yours every action of yours is being affected by it hello pumpkins so i had a call today from the police um and this is i forgot that this was going on because you know life moves on. Uh, for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, in late October I had a unlawful entry in my apartment. I entered my unit and at 3am flipped on the lights and um, was standing in my bedroom. Um, I had overheard this lady's name and I had uh, ended up getting in contact with an ex-boyfriend of hers who's very concerned about her and who um, told me about some mental health issues that she's having. There's a lot of difference between healing a trauma and clearing for good. It's not going to stay with you as something that is healed, it's just going to be cleared. That's the importance behind this. experiencing homelessness and um, she doesn't have a criminal record and even though that night I was super angry and I'm like yeah throw the book out of life in prison um. okay so what we have here is destruction of property um, I do want him charged the reality is that um, she was someone in need and in desperate circumstances who was seeking a warm place to sleep and that can happen to any of us and it has been something that I've experienced and no I'm not sad fishing I am experiencing I am expressing gratitude and compassion so mm. <sighs> this is also harassment so yeah destruction of property trespassing and harassment uh, so, yes, I uh, decided that I'm not pressing charges. Um, I don't want to kick this woman while she's down. She made a bad decision out of desperation, and when we are in desperate situations, we make crappy decisions, all of us. We're not functioning in our right minds when we're functioning from a place of survival. So... Hey, pumpkins. So, just like five minutes ago, a new roommate moved in. I gave him a piece of paper and told him this man is insane and here's my YouTube video here's my YouTube channel watch the last 12 videos so now for those who don't know about this there's a process called completion okay which means that everything uh, everything that you are facing in your present life which is not letting you reach to your highest potential it could be in your love your relationship your career your finance your health any of this which is not which is somewhere stopping you from reaching your highest potential. This is, this is intense. Um, I've been waiting since 9 a.m. for the police. They haven't arrived here. I do need to go. And it appears that my things have been kicked all the way under this cabinet here. I'm having to reach in and grab my stuff. As I'm going through things, I'm noticing that a pair of my panties are missing. So that's theft, right? So I'm going to let the police know that I'm not home. Um, I have let new roommate know that I am filing a restraining order. New roommate has a dog. Dog is very nice. Dog's name is Ghost. Let me know, Halton Police. Is that theft? This morning I woke up and my laundry was on the floor. The, there's also a plastic bag in the machine. Um, laundry is included with my rent. The machines have been turned off uh, for uh, several days. Landlord is refusing to turn them back on. He's now said that they are broken. He refuses to contact a repairman. Um, 
I don't believe that they are broken. Regardless, um, he's messing with my stuff. I'm putting the stuff back in the washing machine and hoping uh, that uh, he either turns them on or if they are broken, calls a repairman immediately. Um, he is not allowed to touch my stuff. He has been told by the police several times not to touch my stuff. Separate yourself from it. In a little bit of a gist, this is what it is. So once you separate yourself from it, your present life starts becoming much more better. I'm putting my stuff back in the washing machine and uh, police are on their way in about a half hour. There's a camera right here pointed at the machine. So yeah, his video camera caught his crime in the action. More adventures. He has now removed light bulbs. So there's no light bulb here. There's no light bulb here. No light bulb here. He still has it cleaned up from his destruction of property or throwing my stuff around. Um, no light bulb. No light bulb. No light bulb. I still have no power going to this outlet, so I can't use my kettle or my toaster. No power going to the microwave still. No power going to the dishwasher still. And I am willing to place my life, if not my, gosh, everything, on the fact that there is no power still to the washing machine or the dryer. So, no, there is a fun tour of the driveway. There is an oil spot here, here, here. There, oil spot. Oil. 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 Now, I have been instructed to park here. Yes, my car is leaking a little bit. I used this stuff here, this is not an advertisement, on a test patch and rinsed it after. And this is how well it worked. It worked perfectly. Um, Merlin and Ghost play very well, um, but yeah, he needs a safer place because considering what um, uh, what this guy has tried, to, what the landlord has tried to do to my dog, um, yeah, this is horrific. So um, yeah, hopefully he can get his money back. Hopefully he can move out um, because yeah, this is not okay. It's awful. Um, I think that the situation may be that my landlord is broke and the reason why he's renting out this room and not giving me my deposit back is simply because he doesn't have money to give me my deposit. However, if he just got first and last from this guy, he should have plenty of uh, spare cash to let me go. Okay, he has been repeatedly told, landlord has been repeatedly told that he is not to enter my bedroom. Um, there will be three locked doors between the outside and me. because I'm concerned for Merlin's safety. Um, yeah, this guy is, has already um, tried to, to kill my dog. Um, but yeah, the camera's running, and um, yeah, if he walks in the door, uh, we will catch him in the act. Uh, my goal right now is to get a restraining order for the rest of the month so that I can save up some money and get a, find a new place to live. I don't typically talk about landlord drama, but uh, I am afraid for my safety, and um, this man is insane. Oh, shut up. You don't know about this. You keep your mouth shut. Shut up. But I am asking um, in, uh, in in return that there be some sort of restraining order or... Um, yeah, I, I don't want this to be the thing that stops her from being able to move forward. It, if she has a criminal record and that it would impact her ability to find a job and impact her ability in some instances to get housing and um, I want to believe in the best in people and that people are capable of turning things around and that people are capable of making good decisions and of doing better. Um, and so I, I want this woman to do well, I just want her to do well far away from me. I've never lived in a place where that kind of security was an issue and it's it's part of the reason why I'm looking at, uh, at moving from here um, the second I legally can when my lease is over. Um, 
but I just I want you to think about um, when you pass someone on the street who might look a little sketchy or look a little different of understanding how easy it would be for you to be in that situation and how grateful that you should be for the things that you have that are really a privilege. Um, you know, I have a great doctor, I have um, the ability to pay my rent, I have um, great friends who took me in when I was at my lowest and I had my sister and, you know, I, I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I have a driver's license and the, the you know, physical ability to drive. I have a car. I speak the local language. Um, I'm generally articulate. And these are all things that are a given for a lot of people. So I just really want you to encourage you to be grateful of the things that you have in life and to understand how easy it is um, for that to all go away. Between June 2nd and June 4th, I needed to call your department five times in 36 hours because of my landlord's escalating violent, illegal, and retaliatory behavior. Much of this I either reported as a video on my phone, took a photo of, or was caught by security cameras. He has shut off power to my room and to essential appliances, refusing to turn them back on, even after being told by the police that it was illegal to do so. He has threatened me, blocked the driveway so I couldn't come home, made loud public false accusations, destroyed my property, trespassed into my room when I wasn't home, threw around my belongings, had violent temper tantrums where he threw and broke things, urinated on the toilet and floor refusing to clean it up, causing me to need to urinate in the wastebasket, throwing my personal belongings in the garbage, and worst of all, when my dog was behind two locked doors, he let my dog loose with the express purpose of trying to get him hit by a car. This was clearly caught on the security camera of him trying to call my dog across the road when a car was coming and asking the car loudly to hit the dog. I have asked the Halton police officers for help. Halton police have done nothing. Well, they gave him a talking to, but nothing has changed. His behavior is escalating. Let me be very clear. I am afraid for my safety. I am afraid for the safety of my dog. I am afraid for the safety of my property. How far does he need to go before you take action to protect me? Does my dog need to die? Do I? How bad do things need to get before he faces consequences? I am reading this note on YouTube so that there is a record of me asking for help. If something happens to me because the halted police did not act, please know that my death was preventable and your department chose inaction. Sincerely, Caroline. Okay, this is what the trauma was. They worked towards healing it where they take you back saying that, okay, now you are the third person watching this child go through this entire thing and now you got to separate yourself from it.